Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. Today I created a video tutorial showing you step by step how to create your own Halloween night lights using dollar store night lights, some glitter, spray frost, and some vinyl that I cut out using my Cricut machine. I love how these turned out. They were so simple and so much fun to create. Please hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon which will inform you when I post a new video. Happy crafting everyone! Alright guys, Halloween's coming up and I am having so much fun creating these. So these designs I either bought from Etsy or got from designbundles.net. I will leave the link below for both of them. Um, but I love these. These are so cool. Everybody knows who he is, right? And he's Jason. He's Freddy. He freaked me out when I was a kid and kind of still does. This guy, I don't know his name, but I saw the movie and I had to leave because I couldn't stand it. So pretty much he freaks me out too. Um, so with these ones down here, I'm going to change the color on these. These ones I'm just going to leave black, but my daughter, I made one of these ready. My daughter said I should change one to red. So I'm actually going to duplicate this one. So I'm going to just select it and then hit duplicate so I don't forget. And I'm just going to change the color really quick to like a red color. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm, I'm just going to leave them the faces the way that they are, but I'm going to work with these really quick. You can choose to or you don't have to, however you want to do it, but I just choose to change the colors a little bit. So to work with this first one, Happy Halloween, um, I'm going to detach it down here at the bottom. And sometimes you have to work it extra. Sometimes you have to go to ungroup up here. But I like how these are all together. So for this one, I think I'm actually going to change um, the Happy Halloween to orange. So I have it selected. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to find closest color to like an orangish color. And then I'm also going to change this to an orange. So we'll just pick that same one. And then I'm going to leave the black spiders and the spider webs black. I think for this one, I'm going to frost the back. And then I'm going to turn, let's see if I can turn this tree maybe into brown. So here's where it goes. So it's, it's already unattached. I'm just going to go up here and click ungroup. And that should let me, I'm trying to see on the side here select okay it's just the tree perfect so for this one i'm gonna change the tree to brown so let's just do the same thing it's already selected i'm gonna go to a little bo a box up here and then change it to brown and then i'm gonna change this little uh moon to yellow again it's up to you if you want to do this or not you don't have to you can leave it all one color but just in case you do i wanted to show you and then I think for the boo y'all, I think I'm going to change that both to orange. So this one's already selected and I'm just going to hold down the control button and I'm going to select the y'all. So it's going to be boo y'all and I'm going to do that orange. And the reason I selected both of them is because it selected both of them here for me. So they are not attached, but I'm actually going to go down here and push attach. So when it cuts out, it will cut it out exactly like this. So I love it the way it is. I'm not gonna do anything else with this one. Again, it's your preference, however you wanna do it. After I'm done with this, the last thing I wanna do is just change the size. And for my night lights, I know they're roughly two and a half by two and a half. So I'm just gonna change each one of these. So I selected the first one at the unlock box is already open. So I'm gonna just type in 2.5 keyboard by 2.5. And you can always mess with it a little bit and make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, but you gotta make sure you don't go over the size of your um, night light, which I said it's a little bit bigger than two and a half. So I'm just gonna do mine at least a two and a half. So again, creepy guy. If you guys know what he's called, please let me know. I was to the movie theater a couple of years ago. I literally had to leave. I could not handle it. So again, this one is unlocked. So I'm just gonna do 2.5 by 2.5. See how it looks, looks okay to me. All right, so here they are all finished. I'm going to go up to make it and then I will show you what they each look like. So I like how that shows you this because my faces are fine, but then we have these ones here that are a little bit off. So I'm gonna go back to cancel it and I'm gonna find the ones that are kind of going off. So this one is cutting separately. You can see here, it will cut out each one of these separately. In order to change that, you wanna select your image and then press attach. And then that will cut out one whole piece by itself. I think, nope, that one wasn't doing it either. 
I think the spiders here are cutting out separate, which is okay, unless you wanna have them all the same. For the video purposes, I will just show you um, how to cut these out all together. So again, you wanna click on what you want, hold the control button down, and then click on the spiders that you want. So I'm just getting the spiders and the spider web. The happy is not between it, so I'm not gonna get the happy. So I have it all ready, so I'm gonna go down here and push attach. So that's gonna cut out all the spiders from me. I'll show you here. So it's gonna cut out all the spiders and set it separately. So now it should work. I'm just gonna check him, he's okay. I'm gonna go back to make it, and then we will see what it looks like now. Okay, perfect. Except for I'm not sure what this is. So we will cut it out and kind of see. But I'm gonna give myself a little bit of room. I like to give myself a little bit of room to cut out each piece. I'm just using regular vinyl, the Oracle 651, but I like to cut, give myself a little space in between to cut them out. I don't wanna waste a lot of vinyl, but I just want enough space that I can cut out each piece. And like I said, this one is one whole piece now. And then, oh, that's my little cat. Okay, now I see it. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a little tiny cat. So I'm going to go to the next one, make sure that they're okay, and just give them, oh, see, here is another thing that we missed, or that I missed, is the tree. So I can go back and finish that, but I'm just going to show you. Okay, so this is how why I love Cricut and how they change, they show you the mats before you cut them, because I need to go back and change my tree. And then also the Boo Y'all Happy Halloween. So I'm going to go back and just finish that. I just push cancel. I'm going to fix the happy too because I know that was a, also uncut here. I'm sorry if I didn't show this beforehand. But I did not make these. I didn't realize that they would have cut out separately like this. So I'm going to keep these together as well. So I have the happy selected. I'm going to push the command or the control button. And I'm selecting Halloween. And then I'm going to go back here and push attach. So that should make everything how we want it but it's a learning curve right so perfect okay so now our tree is one whole piece our happy Halloween and our booyah so now I'm just gonna go back and do what I did before just give a little bit of space in between each one Make sure my little cat comes here we go just a little bit of space in between that I can cut my scissors get my scissors in between each piece so that one was fine that one's okay trees okay perfect so everything is good now. So now I can just load my mat up with the colors. I'm gonna start with the black. I will cut it out, I'll weed it out, and then I will show you the next step of prepping your nightlight. So I have all of my stencils cut out, all of my vinyl, um, and I have all my supplies ready. I have my glitter here. I have some Mod Podge that I'm going to be using to apply the glitter. I have this frosted glass that I use to spray them. And I also have my transfer tape, my squeegee, and also a pair of scissors. So I'm gonna show you one that I've already done. I did this one, and I don't know if you can see it, but I sprayed the frosted glass on the back, and this is what it looks like. And then also I have my LED lights. I will show you, I bought them in bulk. That is pretty much the only way that I could find them. I went to a few stores, couldn't find any, so I bought these. These are what I'm using. These come from the dollar store. They do show a blue light behind it. It says glows blue, but you know, for a dollar, I don't really care. So I'm just gonna open this up and I'll show you. And if you haven't worked with these before, some of them, wow, this one's good. Most of them that I've had have scratches in it or little bubbles or something, but there are no flaws in this one whatsoever. Wow, okay, so. To get started, you need to figure out if you want to just frost them like I did this one or put um, glitter behind it. So I'm going to do a simple one like this. So here's the other one. My daughter said to do it red, so I changed it to red. So I'm just going to use this one and I'm going to spray it with frosted glass. But I'm going to do it outside quickly because I don't want to smell this in the house. You want to do it in a well-ventilated area. So I'm going to spray this and I'm just going to do one coat. That's all I did on this one. So it depends how thick you want it. But afterwards, just do not touch it. Let it sit for a couple minutes. It does dry really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm going to spray a couple of these really quick so that we have them to work with. So I'm going to go off camera really quick. I'm going to spray these and then I'll come back and show you the next part. So, my other ones are dry. These are the ones that I sprayed with the um, fr uh, frosted glass. So I'm just going to clean the front a little bit. Make sure that's nice and clean. Let it dry for a second. And then I'm going to choose which one I want to use. So, I guess I have quite a few of these guys. <laughs> um, 
I'm going to be doing this, um, I like this one, The Witches Be Crazy. And this is uh, two of them, so you have to watch out how you lay them. So I'm going to start with this one, and then I'm going to layer it with this one. So here is where your transfer tape comes in. I'm just going to cut a piece of this off. I like to reuse this after I'm done with it. So I'll just put it to the side when I'm finished and then use it for the next one. Then you want to take your your little file that you created, go over it, and you want to use your scraper. Make sure you scrape it on really well. And then when you pull it up, it should all come up with it. Perfect. So there's that, Witches Be Crazy. And then here is the little hat. So you can either go behind it like this or you can kind of go however you want. I kind of like it behind it a little bit like that. But you can also look on here and kind of gauge where you want to put it. But I kind of want it behind the letters just a little bit. So I like it about here. So I'm just gonna press it on. Use my scraper again. Creep it on really well and then pull it off. So there is that one. I'm going to line it up. And once you got it where you want it, push it down. Use your scraper. Make sure you get it on there really well. Did I get any bubbles out that you might have in it? And then just peel back carefully, making sure that your vinyl stays behind it. Perfect. Now I do see two little bubbles here. You can use your fingers and try to get it out. And another way that I get bubbles out, actually, is I take a hair dryer and I put it over here on low, and then I just push the bubbles, and then magically they come out. So if you have bubbles in that, otherwise people have told me if you use a pin, you can use a little tiny pin and push it in there and get it out. But um, I've been using the hairdryer way and it's been working that way for me. So I'm going to have to do that with this little bubble on here. But I love how this turned out. So there's one. And then I will do another one with this, with the frosted glass behind it. I'm just going to clean the front again really quick. I'm going to take that same piece of transfer tape that I just used. And I'm going to use this red guy, Pennywise. I'm just going to scrape him on really well. Peel him off carefully. And then judge where you want it to go on here. I'm trying to like center the top part of his hair. Because <laughs> it looks like about the center. And then push down. These are so fun, inexpensive, and easy to make. You can do this with anything. I'm actually going to be doing this for Christmas. I'm going to be doing a tutorial a little ways away um, for making those uh, Santa cams. So if you want to stick around for that, please hit the subscribe button if you like my videos. I'd love to have you stay. I'm just pulling this back. And there is Creepy Pennywise. Perfect. I will show you what these look lit up after I'm all finished, guys. So I'm always honest with you. I always tell you the truth. I do not like how this spray Mod Podge worked. I thought it would work really well. I don't know if you can see it, but up here it's missing some. And no matter how many times I try to spray it, it's very thick on the back, but it's not on the front. And then also with this purple one here that I did, after I let it dry for a little bit, a little bit it still did the same thing. When I would start tapping it off, all this would start falling off. So do not use that spray Mod Podge. I thought I would give it a try and let you guys know as I'm doing it, but honestly, I did not like it. So I'm going back to this um, Mod Podge brush on. So I just gave it a really good stir and I'm just gonna do it the old fashioned way. And I'm just gonna put some on my brush. I'm just gonna do it that way. I think this way might be a lot better. 
plus the other way when I was spraying it some of it got on the actual night light this white part itself and I was not too happy with that so I'm doing it the old-fashioned way and I just put it on I'm trying to get rid of the streaks that are on here and I'm going to start with the red so I'm just going to do the same thing just go ahead and put the red on here really nice and thick and you're not wasting it because you have the paper but I think this way it'll be a lot easier I thought I would give this spray Mod Podge a try but I really did not like how it turned out so I am going to um, do my purple one I'm gonna do a few layers on this one and let it dry and then I will come back and show you what it looks like but I wanted to be honest with you and say I thought the spray stuff would be better but it really wasn't um, it looks good on the back side of it it's very thick but it doesn't look good on the front so I would not recommend using the spray stuff I would just go ahead and use the the Mod Podge that you have to put on by layer so I'm gonna let this one dry and just work with another purple one but I just wanted to be honest with you guys and say it did not work alright so I had actually let these sit overnight and I put the uh, files on the front of them but I let them sit overnight and there's two things that I want to show you quickly before I end this video um, so I will show you this one over here this orange one um, you can see here last night when I was doing I accidentally touched it when it was still wet So I'm going to show you quickly how to put the second coat on here And then there's also one more thing after you're done and you like how it looks like this one I like how it looks it's nice and red. I'm not missing anywhere I'm just going to put an extra coat of Mod Podge over it to keep glitter from coming off So if you touch it, you can see the glitter comes off of them. So I need to finish that So for the last part, you're just going to want to take your Mod Podge and put some on a foam brush. You can put this on a plate or whatever you want, but I just like doing it this way. So to do this one that I missed spots on, or if you put a second or third or fourth coat on, you're just gonna wanna go over it lightly, and you're not gonna pull up the glitter because you shook most of it off. So I'm just carefully going on and finding the spots where it wasn't really all the way on. Then I'm just going to take my paper again, so I save all my sprinkles. Sorry, I keep calling them sprinkles, my glitter. I'm just going to open my glitter back up and just pour it on here again. And then shake it off really well. And then I will let this one sit. And then I will see, come back and see, I don't know if you can see that really well. They're still missing there, but it could be white because the Mod Podge is still wet. So the Mod Podge will be white when it's wet and then clear dry when it's dry. Or clear when it's dry. So I'm going to put my glitter back in. And then I'm going to show you how to seal them. So all the other ones turned out really well. Like I said, I let them sit all night and I put my files on. You can see how nice and dark this was, one is. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take my foam brush, put some Mod Podge on it. It doesn't have to be a lot. You just want to seal it. And then just carefully go over where all your sprinkles are. I see, I said sprinkles again. All where your glitter is. And then just pull down as you go. This doesn't have to be a thick layer either. This is just sealing in your glitter. So let's use a little bit more. So this will prevent the glitter from coming off. But you just want to make sure you get it all over where you had your glitter so that nothing comes off. And this is the way I do it for the second and third coat as well. I'll just put it all on here and then I'll sprinkle the glitter the same way but that's how you seal it so that this glitter is not going to go anywhere and you see it's white but then once it dries it will dry clear so I'm just going to do the same thing with all these other ones here's the other one I did the spooky one it turned out really cute I like it it's nice and thick on the back so I'm just going to do the same thing take my Mod Podge and then go all over Unfortunately, like I said, the, the spray Mod Podge, I thought that would have worked so much better. It does not work. Please do not do it. That would just be quicker and easier, but it's actually not. This way is much easier. So there you go. And that is it. That's all you have to do to it. You have nothing else to do to it. You just have to let it dry. 
turn it this way. And then I'll show you my other ones that I did. I did this one. I did this one black, which you, it's hard to see, but once it turns on, you'll be able to see it much better. And then I have this creepy guy, which I still don't know his name, but he scares the heck out of me. So I'm going to finish these, and then I'll show you what they look like when they're all done and lit up. So here they are finished, and I'm going to show you it lit up. I love how these turned out. They were so simple and so much fun to create. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon, which will inform you when I post a new video. And if you love this video, please leave me a thumbs up. I love to read comments below if you would leave them. Happy crafting, everybody, and happy fall.